Hi, pale peeps. Good to be here with you. I know things are heating up there in Houston temperature-wise now that we're moving deeply into spring. And um, I hope things are heating up with the work that you're doing in your teams towards the Action Learning Project and also um, dipping your toes into the connected learner experience. As you know, um, in this particular learning cycle, we're actually discussing assessment. So we're in learning cycle four and uh, lots to do. Just to remind you, in, in a learning cycle, you come in, you go through the mapping it out introduction piece, watch the little video we have there. Then you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna go into the playlist, Look at the different resources. You don't have to look at all of them. You can pick and choose the ones you're going to you're going to pay attention to. Then you go into practice. And in practice, what we really want you to do this time is to join an existing discussion. So you can see they're here. And the cool thing is, is some of these discussions are actually um, uh, by our experienced voices. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. So you can start a new discussion yourself if you don't want to join these uh, round assessment, talking about anything that's important to you at this point. And then you're going to apply it. And you can see here where we have the way that you're actually going to go in and start to apply this assessment step. We're going to encourage you to uh, do a blog post. And there's some directions there on how to do that. And kind of share what you've been thinking about as you've gone through each of these steps. And now, as we're here in the, um, the art of reflection or assessment and thinking about that. So just want to encourage you to uh, get digging deep to your learning cycle here and um, start to think about assessment. Now, one of the things that we did this go round is we brought in our experienced voices and you can see them pictured here. They're from all over. Uh, and each of them are talking about a particular as uh, content area, subject area, and how to do this inquiry approach, how to apply the pedagogy that we talked about in the last learning cycle, how to really think about accessing PLNs and, and communities uh, like we talked about in the second learning cycle, and also um, thinking about this idea of connected learning. And so all of these folks are seasoned, award-winning classroom educators that are actually applying this stuff in, and with the constructs of testing and getting their kids in colleges and all of these kinds of things, just like you have against you, uh, are working with you, the challenge that you have every day. And so um, I hope you'll take some time. They're only going to be here through the rest of the week. You can find their discussions if you'll go here, and I'm going to click on that real quick and show you. So you can see right here, there's a great discussion going on. Um, this one was started by Garth. Levin replies in this one, creating a culture that inspires. Shelly Wright's done a great one. I'm, I'm going to open this up because I was just blown away when I saw it this morning. Shelly not only talks about step by step how to get started with inquiry-based learning, project-based learning. She gives us great resources that have influenced her, and she is one of the best inquiry-driven teachers that I know. Um, she helps you understand how to break it down into pieces where you're going to talk about the learning, how you're going to use the technology, and what to expect, the obstacles to expect. And she also says that she will um, help you along, that she will work with you if you're interested in having her um, bounce ideas off of her, and that she'll help you every step of the way. So if you haven't checked out Shelly's um, conversation there, I'd encourage you to do that. And then you've also got Amy's, where she's talking about feedback. Uh, Glenn's talking about one teaching method that you'll modify, so baby steps, really starting small. And then um, Evan is actually talking about backwards design. So just because they have a particular disciplinary area, Evan's math, Glenn's science, Amy is working with elementary kids, uh, Shelly is working in language arts, and then uh, Garth is social studies. Just because they have a particular subject area doesn't mean that you have to go to your subject area person. But I would just really encourage you to go check out the Experience Voices and spend some time with them before they leave us. I also wanted to scroll down here, if I could, and look at the discussion area. So if you haven't had time lately to come into the discussions, maybe to start one or to respond, remember that's a section that we have in every one of our learning cycles is to come and uh, either start your own discussion around something that's interesting to you or get involved in one of them, then I would really encourage you to do that because there are some great conversations taking place, some of them that um, haven't had anybody respond very much, or maybe there's only just a couple responses. Like, for instance, let's go to this one right here. Ivana started it. 
And Ivana is talking about using video games as a way of learning. And, you know, I think this is really powerful what she shares here. And um, really, it's only the um, coaches that have gone back and forth with her on this. So I, I would think that some of you would want to get involved and ask your own questions about video games and learning. You know, may, you may not know a lot about it, but you may know questions to ask or you might want to push back. And that's what we're hoping for all the discussions, that you'll come in here and, and do those kinds of things. Uh, if you're a little bit lost on the schedule and you're trying to remember what we're supposed to be doing, you can come in here to the calendar and it will tell you exactly what's going on and what you should be doing. So if some of you have kind of lost your way, I just encourage you to come into the calendar. It'll tell you when the culminating event is. It lets you know um, step by step what, we're, what, what you should be doing at this stage of the game. So you can go back. We have things linked that you can go back and look at. But um, here's April. Okay, so we had our Experience Voices webinar. Now they're in the community. Then there'll be a team meeting. And then we'll do step five of the learning cycle where you'll get some written feedback to your team on how things are going. So if it's been a while since you've uh, gotten into the community, I want to encourage you to do that. The other thing that um, could be going on is the Action Learning Project. And as you know, when we meet on June 1st at uh, St. John's, everybody will have their learning project that they'll be sharing. Every team will get about 30 minutes and uh, maybe a little bit more. Um, you also have a teaser that you're going to be creating. But right in here, you can see that we've got um, the different steps that you should be doing around your action learning project. So you want to jump in there and take a look at that. If, you're, if you want to go back, let's say you got behind in the learning cycles, we have them all listed for you here. And then we also have the groups. So most of you are working inside your own team group. But we've got a newbie group. If you're feeling lost, want to ask some questions, if you really want to find some cool tools, there's virtual classroom visits that you can look at, help desk where you can ask questions. So um, there's some groups. And then this time what we're doing, if you look over here on the other side, we're going to ask you to um, do a blog post. And so you can see there already are some blog posts in here. Uh, Anne has been blogging pretty uh pretty consistently. I'm going to open this one that she's done. Here she did a blog post about experienced voices and uh, talked about working with Glenn. And so you can kind of come in here and read through her blog post. The object of the game with the blog post is then you can then go and give comments and respond. So um, I want to encourage you to uh, do your final step inside the uh, learning cycle this time and to do your blog post where maybe you're reflecting on your learning, reflecting on the action learning project, or just on the assessment, which is what this learning cycle is all about. So this is, uh, this is an encouragement saying, come on, you guys, we're getting in the last lap here. We want you inside the community. We want you learning. We want you looking around, knowing that you have, you'll have access to all of this um, even after the uh, June 1st sharing happens. But, um, you know, we just really want to encourage you to take advantage of the experienced voices. And uh, I'll see you online. Bye, everyone.